Hello, this is Philip, and welcome to my channel for this new episode of KOS. Uh, in here we have uh, my test uh, script, and uh, before doing anything, I will uh, delete uh, the launch launch uh, script because I don't need it anymore, and uh, I delete all of it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I organize my uh, files when I play KSP with uh, KOS. First, I uh, I create two folders. The first one uh, is for my uh, mission script, and the second one is for my uh, library uh, script. Uh, okay. In the mission one, I I put my uh, main script. Uh, can say I put my script to go to orbit or to go to the moon, to go to uh, Minmus. Uh, so for each uh, mission, I have a, a script, and I store it in this uh, mission folder. For example, I can uh, put the test script into mission folder and uh, in my uh, lib script uh, in my lib folder I put scripts where I define all the functions this way I uh, I have two different uh, things I have the main scripts where I only put the uh, most important information about my mission and I have uh, uh, more uh, tools scripts uh, where I define my function. Okay, so for example, in that lib uh, folder, in that library folder, I can uh, create a new uh, script, and uh, I don't know. I will call it uh, uh, liftoff. Uh, .ks. Okay, so uh, in that uh, script. I uh, will only uh, put the functions needed uh, for the liftoff. For now, I only have one function. It's the start uh, countdown. Okay, so I delete that. And here in the liftoff, I put my function start countdown. Now I want that function to be uh, used in other files. So I, I have to make that function global. So in front of the word function, I can add global. Um, you have global functions or local function. If your function is local, then uh, it, could, it can be used only in that file. And uh, you see it is uh, the, 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 the name of the function is underlined that because that function is not used uh, used anywhere in that file, and if I put global, no problem here because uh, the function start countdown is is used here. But in that file, uh, we notice there is an error because in the test file, uh, KOS doesn't know where to uh, found that function. So I have to tell him uh, to tell it where to found the function uh, start countdown. For that, I only have to uh, do something you know well. Uh, it is uh, run and uh, run path. And the path is uh, zero because we are um, in the, the archive uh, here the, the file the, the folder script is the folder on my computer so it is the archive so run path and then I need to go to the lib folder and uh, to finish lift off this is the file lift off okay now the problem is solved uh, I run first the path th the path so KOS reads that file so uh, that file so it reads the function here start countdown so uh, until uh, for now the function exists so uh, kos can use it in that test uh, test uh, file okay so that is uh, for the uh, liftoff 
Okay, and now I have um, another function, do stage. So in my lib folder, I will create another uh, file and uh, maybe uh, during flight, uh, during flight uh, file. Uh, in this file, I will always have the uh, do stage and the activate shoot function like this, and uh, I can add later a function to my uh, gravity terms, for example, and uh, I can add, an, I don't know, um, a function to uh, to create a maneuver node, uh, something like this. I add global function. Uh, this way, my functions uh, can be uh, used in other scripts. And uh, here, I have to do another run path. And instead of lift off, during a flight. OK. This way, you see, uh, this is the script of my mission. I have no other things uh, other than my mission. Uh, I, I can separate it from my, uh, in my mind. Uh, in the one end, I have uh, the uh, mission. In the other end, I have the, the tools to uh, go on my mission. So, start down, do stage, do stage, active shoots. Okay, if I want to run that script, I know exactly what my ship is doing to do. Is going to do. And then, if I want to uh, upgrade my uh, program, I can go to uh, the liftoff script or the Turing flight script to uh, change this. The advantage of uh, this is now for all my missions, I can use that uh, run path and uh, I can uh, then, uh, I, I just have to use the function that already exists uh, in those files. I don't have, I don't need to, uh, uh, to to write those functions again. So they are created once for all. Okay, um, here, if you remember well, um, the, the, the objective of those two uh, staging were to uh, ignite the booster and then to release the clamps to uh, have a liftoff. So it will be maybe uh, more useful to have those uh, do stage inside my liftoff uh, program. So uh, what I want to say is print three, two, one, and at the moment I want I print one. I want to uh, ignite the booster. So I want to do the first stage and uh, to write ignition. Okay. And um, then I uh, need uh, then to print zero and I do the other stage, which is the lift off. Okay, so here I need the function do stage. That function already exists. That's why it is not underline here, but it does exist for VAC for, for my program. But if I want to run it uh, with KSC, with uh, KOS uh, on my, uh, on my, uh, on my ship, sorry, uh, it, it will be, uh, it will be a problem because I, I, I have to say here from where that function uh, is. Um, okay. So for this, I just have to uh, do the same uh, as here. So run pass, uh, leave lift off, etc. Okay. Uh, no, not lift off. It's uh, during flight because uh, my function do stage is def defined here. So I run path uh, during flight. So look at my main script. I uh, run path lift off. In that first script lift off, I run path during flight. Okay, and then I uh, read the, the the function start countdown. 
back to my test file, second line, I run path during flight, but that, uh, that script is already running because lift off, run that script. So uh, instead of um, writing run path, path, it's better to uh, write run once path. Um, in the second line, KOS ha has to uh, read and to execute the during flight dot ks script, but because uh, it is already running here, KOS skips that line. Skips that line. Okay, it it, it doesn't need to uh, execute that line because the during flight is already running. And this way, when you are uh, running the same file, the same script from uh, multiple files, uh, you don't overload, not a good uh, word, but don't overload KOS uh, in running multiple times the same script. Uh, so I will do this the same here. Here in the first line, KOS will uh, read liftoff and because liftoff script is not running yet it, 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 it will execute uh, the, the liftoff script. Now I have to uh, change my main script because in the start countdown I uh, already put do stage here and here so I can't I can now delete this line those lines. Um, there is a a small problem here. Uh, if I keep my start countdown function like this, that means that I have to build all my rockets in the same uh, ways. That means that I have to uh, to first ignite uh, the main engine before uh, I release the the claims. It's it's what I am used to do, so no problem for me. But if, if you are used to uh, ignite your main engine at the same time you release the the, the clamps, you, you can't do that. You have to change that. Okay. And uh, because it is now in my start countdown function, I, I have to do this uh, every time in the same way. Okay, so now my main script is uh, very small, okay, and uh, uh, it's uh, it's easier to, to read. One last thing, uh, here I run my scripts from the archive, from the volume zero, but we saw in episode six that uh, if, I, uh, if my uh, craft is in orbit and it is out of the communications uh, relay, he, he can't uh, reach. He can't reach the archive. He can't reach the zero. So uh, if I run my test from there, uh, my test file from there, uh, it, it won't work. So maybe it's better to uh, copy path uh, first the those um, those uh, those files. Okay, so now first I copy uh, the liftoff uh, file from uh, the archive and the library folder to uh, the craft and um, to uh, the li uh, library folder. If the library folder doesn't exist, uh, it will be created automatically in the craft. I just have to uh, to worry about the, uh, the size of uh, my script. I can't uh, be above the uh, disk space of my processor, of the KOS, uh, KOS processor. And then, so uh, instead of running uh, the liftoff file and the uh, during flight file from the archive, I can run it from here, from the WAP. And there is a problem, but the problem uh, it's not uh, the problem is not from uh, KOS. The problem is uh, from uh, VSC. Uh, VSC doesn't recognize the one. Uh, he, he does recognize the uh, zero, the archive. He knows it knows that the the zero is uh, for this main file, this main uh, uh, script folder. But 
it does not recognize the one. This is not a KOS error, so it, it will work. How can I run my uh, test script? Because uh, the test script is not exactly saved into the archive. It is saved into a folder, and that folder is uh, into the archive. Um, so if I uh, switch to a zero and a list, I, I see here so the boot folder, the lib folder, and the missions folder. I can see uh, my test script, so I, I have to go uh, in the missions folder. For this, I uh, write cd, okay, and uh, then the path I want to go. So uh, zero, this is the archive and missions. Okay, list, and now I am in the missions folder and in that missions folder, I can see the uh, test um, uh, script here. So now I can run test. Three, two, one, ignition, lift off. Okay, so all works perfectly. Okay, uh, the start uh, countdown function uh, has worked as well as the active shoot function worked. Well, the program is ended. Now, if I switch to one and a list, you see that my lib, uh, um, my lib folder exists. And if I uh, write this cd1 and lib and list again, in my lib folder inside processor here, I can uh, see during flight and the liftoff scripts. One last problem here. Uh, if my craft is out of the communications uh, network, I can't copy uh, the liftoff script from the archive to the craft. I can't do it because I don't have any access to uh, the archive. That problem will be fixed in with the, using the boot file, and uh, as soon as we have a boot file, we can do a lot of things, even if we are out of the networks, uh, the communications network. Uh, but for this, you have to wait until the episode 11 because I won't talk about the boot file uh, and the boot folder until episode 11. Okay, that's all for that uh, video. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.